أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تاسيم مين These are revelations of the scripture that make it plain It may be that thou tormentest thyself, O Muhammad, because they believe not. If we will, we can send down on them from the sky a portent, so that their necks would remain bowed before it. Never cometh there unto them a fresh reminder from the Beneficent One, but they turn away from it. Now they have denied the truth, but there will come unto them tidings of that whereat they used to scoff. Have they not seen the earth, how much of every fruitful kind we make to grow therein? Lo, herein is indeed a portent, yet most of them are not believers. And lo, thy Lord, he is indeed the mighty, the merciful. And when thy Lord called Moses, saying, Go unto the wrongdoing folk, the folk of Pharaoh, will they not ward off evil? He said, My Lord, lo, I fear that they will deny me. And I shall be embarrassed, and my tongue will not speak plainly. Therefore, send for Aaron to help me. And they have a crime against me, so I fear that they will kill me. He said, Nay, verily, so go ye twain with our tokens. Lo, we shall be with you, hearing. And come together unto Pharaoh and say, Lo, we bear a message of the Lord of the worlds, saying, Let the children of Israel go with us. Pharaoh said unto Moses, Did we not rear thee among us as a child? And thou didst dwell many years of thy life among us. And thou didst that, thy deed which thou didst, and thou wast one of the ingrates. He said, I did it then, when I was of those who are astray. Then I fled from you when I feared you, and my Lord vouchsafed me a command, and appointed me of the number of those sent by him. And this is the past favor wherewith thou reproachest me, that thou hast enslaved the children of Israel. Pharaoh said, And what is the Lord of the worlds? Moses said, Lord of the heavens and the earth, and all that is between them, if ye had but sure belief. Pharaoh said, Unto those around him, Hear ye not. He said, Your Lord and the Lord of your fathers. Pharaoh said, Lo, your messenger who hath been sent unto you is indeed a madman. He said, Lord of the east and the west, and all that is between them, if ye did but understand. Pharaoh said, If thou choosest a god other than me, I assuredly shall place thee among the prisoners. He said, Even though I show thee something plain? Pharaoh said, Produce it then, if thou art of the truthful. Then he flung down his staff, and it became a serpent manifest. And he drew forth his hand, and lo, it was white to the beholders. Pharaoh said unto the chiefs about him, Lo, this is verily a knowing wizard, who would drive you out of your land by his magic. Now what counsel ye? They said, Put him off, him and his brother, and send them into the city's summoners. Who shall bring unto thee every knowing wizard? So the wizards were gathered together at a set time on a day appointed. And it was said unto the people, Are ye also gathering? They said, Aye, so that we may follow the wizards if they are the winners. And when the wizards came, they said unto Pharaoh, Will there surely be a reward for us if we are the winners? He said, Aye, and ye will then surely be of those brought near to me. Moses said unto them, Throw what ye are going to throw. Then they threw down their cords and their staves and said, By Pharaoh's might, lo, we verily are the winners. 
Then Moses threw his staff, and lo, it swallowed that which they did falsely show. And the wizards were flung prostrate, crying, We believe in the Lord of the worlds, the Lord of Moses and Aaron. Pharaoh said, Ye put your faith in him before I give you leave? Lo, he doubtless is your chief who taught you magic, but verily ye shall come to know. Verily I will cut off your hands and your feet alternately, and verily I will crucify you, everyone. They said, It is no hurt, for lo, unto our Lord we shall return. Lo, we ardently hope that our Lord will forgive us our sins, because we are the first of the believers. And we inspired Moses, saying, Take away my slaves by night, for ye will be pursued. Then Pharaoh sent into the city's summoners, who said, Lo, these indeed are but a little troop, and lo, they are offenders against us. And lo, we are a ready host. Thus did we take them away from gardens and water springs, and treasures and a fair estate. Thus were those things taken from them, and we caused the children of Israel to inherit them. And they overtook them at sunrise. And when the two hosts saw each other, those with Moses said, Lo, we are indeed caught. He said, Nay, verily, for lo, my Lord is with me, he will guide me. Then we inspired Moses, saying, Smite the sea with thy staff, and it parted, and each part was as a mountain vast. Then brought we near the others to that place. And we saved Moses and those with him, everyone. We drowned the others. Lo, Heron is indeed a portent, yet most of them are not believers. And lo, thy Lord, he is indeed the mighty, the merciful. Recite unto them the story of Abraham. When he said unto his father and his folk, What worship ye? They said, We worship idols, and are ever devoted unto them. He said, Do they hear you when ye cry? Or do they benefit or harm you? They said, Nay, but we found our fathers acting on this wise. He said, See now that which ye worship, ye and your forefathers. Lo, they are all an enemy unto me, save the Lord of the worlds, who created me, and he doth guide me and who feedeth me and watereth me. And when I sicken, then he healeth me. And who causeth me to die, then giveth me life again. And who I ardently hope will forgive me my sin on the day of judgment. My Lord, vouchsafe me wisdom and unite me to the righteous. And give unto me a good report in later generations and place me among the inheritors of the garden of delight. And forgive my father, lo, he is of those who err. And abase me not on the day when they are raised, the day when wealth and sons avail not any man, save him who bringeth unto Allah a whole heart. And the garden will be brought nigh for those who ward off evil and hell will appear plainly to the erring. And it will be said unto them, Where is all that ye used to worship? Instead of Allah, can they help you or help themselves? Then they will be hurled therein, they and the seducers, and the hosts of Iblis together. And they will say, when they are quarreling therein, By Allah, of a truth we were in error manifest. When we made you equal with the Lord of the worlds, it was but the guilty who misled us. Now we have no intercessors, nor any loving friend.
Oh, that we had another turn on earth, that we might be of the believers. Lo, Heron is indeed a portent, yet most of them are not believers. And lo, thy Lord, he is indeed the mighty, the merciful. Noah's folk denied the messengers of Allah. When their brother Noah said unto them, Will ye not ward off evil? Lo, I am a faithful messenger unto you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no wage, therefore. My wage is the concern only of the Lord of the worlds. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. They said, Shall we put faith in thee when the lowest of the people follow thee? He said, And what knowledge have I of what they may have been doing in the past? Lo, their reckoning is my Lord's concern, if ye but knew. And I am not here to repulse believers. I am only a plain warner. They said, If thou seest not, O Noah, thou wilt surely be among those stoned to death. He said, My Lord, lo, my own folks deny me. Therefore judge thou between us a conclusive judgment, and save me and those believers who are with me. And we saved him and those with him in the laden ship. Then afterward we drowned the others. Lo, Heron is indeed a portent, yet most of them are not believers. And lo, thy Lord, he is indeed the mighty, the merciful. The tribe of Ard denied the messengers of Allah. When their brother Hud said unto them, Will ye not ward of evil? Lo, I am a faithful messenger unto you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no wage, therefore, my wage is the concern only of the Lord of the worlds. Build ye on every high place a monument for vain delight? And seek ye out strongholds that haply ye may last for ever. And if ye seize by force, seize ye as tyrants? Rather keep your duty to Allah and obey me. Keep your duty toward him who hath aided you with the good things that ye know. Hath aided you with cattle and sons, and gardens and water springs. Lo, I fear for you the retribution of an awful day. They said, It is all one to us whether thou preachest or art not of those who preach. This is but a fable of the men of old and we shall not be doomed. And they denied him, therefore we destroyed them. Lo, Heron is indeed a portent, yet most of them are not believers. And lo, thy Lord, he is indeed the mighty, the merciful. The tribe of Thamud denied the messengers of Allah. When their brother Saleh said unto them, Will ye not ward off evil? Lo, I am a faithful messenger unto you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no wage therefore. My wage is the concern only of the Lord of the worlds. Will ye be left secure in that which is here before us? In gardens and water springs? And tilled fields and heavy sheathed palm trees? Though ye hew out dwellings in the mountains, being skillful, therefore keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And obey not the command of the prodigal, who spread corruption in the earth and reform not. They said, Thou art but one of the bewitched. Thou art but a mortal like us, so bring some token if thou art of the truthful. He said, 
Behold this she camel, she hath the right to drink at the well, and ye have the right to drink each on an appointed day. And touch her not with ill, lest there come on you the retribution of an awful day. But they hamstrung her, and then were penitent. So the retribution came on them. Lo, Heron is indeed a portent, yet most of them are not believers. And lo, thy Lord, he is indeed the mighty, the merciful. The folk of Lot denied the messengers of Allah. When their brother Lot said unto them, Will ye not ward off evil? Lo, I am a faithful messenger unto you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no wage, therefore, my wage is the concern only of the Lord of the worlds. What, of all creatures, do you come unto the males? And leave the wives your Lord created for you? Nay, but ye are froward folk. They said, If thou seest not, O Lot, thou wilt soon be of the outcast. He said, I am in truth of those who hate your conduct. My Lord, save me and my household from what they do. So we saved him and his household, everyone. Save an old woman among those who stayed behind. Then afterward we destroyed the others. And we rained on them a rain, and dreadful is the rain of those who have been warned. Though Heron is indeed a portent, yet most of them are not believers. And lo, thy Lord, he is indeed the mighty, the merciful. The dwellers in the wood of Midian denied the messengers of Allah. When Shuaib said unto them, Will ye not ward off evil? Lo, I am a faithful messenger unto you. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. And I ask of you no wage for it. My wage is the concern only of the Lord of the worlds. Give full measure and be not of those who give less than the due. And weigh with the true balance. Wrong not mankind in their goods and do not evil, making mischief in the earth. And keep your duty unto him who created you and the generations of the men of old. They said, Thou art but one of the bewitched. Thou art but a mortal like us, and lo, we deem thee of the liars. Then make fragments of the heaven fall upon us, if thou art of the truthful. He said, My Lord is best aware of what ye do. But they denied him, so there came on them the retribution of the day of gloom. Lo, it was the retribution of an awful day. Lo, Heron is indeed a portent, yet most of them are not believers. And lo, thy Lord, he is indeed the mighty, the merciful. And lo, it is a revelation of the Lord of the worlds, which the true spirit hath brought down, upon thy heart, that thou mayst be one of the warners, in plain Arabic speech. And lo, it is in the scriptures of the men of old. It is not a token for them that the doctors of the children of Israel know it. And if we had revealed it unto one of any other nation than the Arabs, and he had read it unto them, they would not have believed in it. Thus do we make it traverse the hearts of the guilty. They will not believe in it till they behold the painful doom, so that it will come upon them suddenly when they perceive not. Then they will say, Are we to be reprieved? Would they now hasten on our doom? Hast thou then seen if we contend them for long years? And then cometh that which they were promised. How that wherewith they were contended not availeth them. And we destroyed no township, but it had its warners. 
a reminder, for we never were oppressors. The devils did not bring it down. It is not meat for them, nor is it in their power. Lo, verily, they are banished from the hearing. Therefore invoke not with Allah another God, lest thou be one of the doomed. And warn thy tribe of near kindred. And lower thy wing in kindness unto those believers who follow thee. And if they, thy kinsfolk, disobey thee, say, Lo, I am innocent of what they do. And put thy trust in the mighty, the merciful, who seeth thee when thou standest up to pray, and seeth thine abasement among those who fall prostrate in worship. Lo, he, only he, is the hearer of the knower. Shall I inform you upon whom the devils descend? They descend on every sinful false one. They listen eagerly, but most of them are liars. As for poets, the erring follow them. Hast thou not seen how they stray in every valley? And how they say that which they do not? Save those who believe and do good works and remember Allah much and vindicate themselves after they have been wronged. Those who do wrong will come to know by what a great reverse they will be overturned.